Hi, Grace the Book Lady. I have a fun story for you today. It's called The Mensch on a Bench, written by Neil Hoffman and illustrated by Nadect Yilmaz. And there he is. Everyone knows the story of the Maccabees and how they led the Jews to freedom. But nobody knows about the unsung, unsung hero of Hanukkah named Moish the Mensch. Let me tell you his story. Judah and the Maccabees returned to the temple and celebrated their victory against the Greeks. And at the end of the night, when they were ready to go to bed, they realized that they only had enough oil for one night. As everybody celebrating, and that's Judah realizing he doesn't have enough oil to light the lamps, to light the menorah. A friendly voice replied from the back of the temple, I will stay up and watch the lights and let you know if they go out. You and the others get some rest. Judah said, thank you. What's your name, friend? The man replied, my name is Moshe, and I would be happy to sit on this bench and watch over the temple. Moshe, your mensch, Judah said. A mensch on a bench, the children laughed. And so the Maccabees, their families, and the rest of the congregation went to sleep. Moshe sat and watched over the light. To Moshe's amazement, the light stayed on all night. There is Moish volunteering, and there he is watching over the light. In the morning, everyone was amazed that the light was still lit. Surely, this little bit of oil couldn't last two days. But sure enough, on the second night, the lights remained lit, and Moish the Mensch watched over the temple. On the third day, while the Maccabees went to work, Moish played with the children. The children were bored and had only clay to play with. They asked Moish to make up a game for them, so Moish wrote, wrote symbols on the clay, spun it around, and the kids began to play dreidel. There they are, marveling at the light. And there they are playing dreidel. And the lights are still going. On the third night, just like the second night, night Moish began to watch the lights, and they stayed lit and shone brightly. On the fourth day, the children wanted to thank Moish for playing with them, so they made special presents for him, wrapped them up, and let him open them in front of them. Oi, Moish, how Moish smiled. On the fourth night, Moish the Mensch watched over everyone and the lights remained lit. There he is receiving his presents and the lights are still going. On the fifth day, the children were tired of eating the same boring food for days and asked Moish to take, make them a treat. Moish made his famous latkes which filled up everyone's bellies and made them smile. What a mensch. On the fifth night, Moish again watched as the light shone brightly and the Jews of the temple, they shone brightly on the Jews of the temple. Surely it could not last six nights. There is his famous latkes and the lights keep going. On the sixth day, the Jewish people of the temple knew that something special was happening. They joined together and celebrated with songs, just like they still do today. On the sixth night, Moish watched as the lights shone bright, and the Jewish people watched with him as the miracle of God shone before them. There they are singing and marveling at the lights.
On the seventh day, the Sabbath, the Jews rested. Tired from staying up all night, Moish rested too. The kids watched the lights and made sure they didn't go out. The oil continued to burn. On the seventh night, the miracle of the lights continued, and Moish the Mensch smiled as he knew that God was watching over his people. There he is resting and marveling at the lights. On the eighth day, the Jews celebrated as the miracle continued. Moish snuck away, and when nobody was looking, he filled everyone's pockets with candy, coins called gelt. Everyone was so happy. What a mensch. On the eighth night, after the oil had lasted for eight long days, more oil was brought to the temple by Hannah, the Hanukkah hero. The Jews, now free, celebrated and knew that God had sent them a sign. They told their children to remember the festival of lights and told them to always try to be a mensch, a good person. Today, Jewish families from around the world can celebrate Hanukkah with their own mensch on a bench watching over their menorah. There he is, slipping the candy in the people's pockets, and there is the extra oil coming. A special thanks to the Menches of Menchen who made this all possible. Each of you is a Mensch in your own right. And that was The Mensch on the Bench by Neil Hoffman. I hope you enjoyed that. See you next time. Bye.